Last year, we made our first attempt at growing Lufant. This year, we've decided to continue this journey with Lufant cultivation. Our first attempt at growing Lufant seedlings was quite an adventure for us as complete novices in the field. Before diving in, we had to rely on online resources to gather some guidance. However, as we delve deeper into our research, we discovered a plethora of advice on the topic. Some suggested soaking the seeds for two hours, while others recommended six hours overnight or up to three days. Various methods were also suggested regarding water temperature and using boiled water for soaking, making the options overwhelming. Faced with such a multitude of suggestions, we ultimately opted for a simpler approach, soaking the seeds for just a few hours before planting. Perhaps not the most ideal method, but for us. As first-time growers, choosing a comfortable method was important. When we were gathering information online, we came across a particular suggestion. Using nail clippers to crack open the shells of Lufo seeds, which is said to significantly improve germination rates. Although this method is considered more effective, it requires a considerable amount of time, considering that we are currently just novice farmers. In the experimental stage, planning to plant 70 to Lufos seedlings in one plot. We feel that this cracking method would be too time consuming and labor intensive for future larger scale planting. Therefore, we have decided not to attempt it. We also supplemented some seeds that had not undergone soaking treatment for comparative observation. One of the main reasons for this decision is our experience from last year. Looking back, when we were planting bitter gourds. We impulsively planted some Lufo seeds directly into poly bags without any treatment. Surprisingly, this hasty method yielded a 90% germination rate. This unexpected delight sparked our interest in exploring Lufo seedling cultivation more deeply. Finally, we ensured that the soil was moist and placed the seedling trays into large black garbage bags to create a warm and humid environment.